Here's how you register for EIDME. Get started, read, register. Tap continue and use your unlock method to lock EIDME. Enter your email address, ideally one on your phone, and submit. Open this RegCode ready email from EIDME. Check your junker spam folder if you don't see it. It may take a few minutes to receive. Tap register now or copy the registration code at the bottom of the email and paste it into your EIDME app. Tap register. Make sure you have everything and continue. Allow location, allow camera and continue. In front of a plain background, follow the in-app instructions to take a selfie and a live check. Make sure your face isn't blurred or out of frame and continue. Tap an ID card and scan card front. Hint, use a dark surface that isn't too shiny and avoid glare from bright lights. Center your card in the outline and it should scan automatically. If not, try tapping your phone to focus, cleaning your smartphone lens and ID card, and ensuring there are no other edges in the frame. Repeat with the back side of your card. Passport. Open your passport to page two. Hint, hold the top with your fingers and the bottom with your thumb. Tap scan page two and align the passport photo and passport code with the outline, ensuring there's no glare. Make sure that the code in your app matches with the code in your passport and continue. Close your passport and place it with the back face up. Place your phone on your passport one centimeter below the top and then tap scan passport. Wait three seconds. If nothing happens, move your phone down one centimeter. Repeat this until scanning begins. Do not move your phone or passport while scanning. If scanning doesn't work, remove your phone case and or passport case and retry from the scan page two step. Once done, add additional documents if you wish and tap finalize submission, submit, submit. Here are your results. If your submission failed, tap the help icon to learn why. Now tap create, create, and allow. Congrats, you now have your new EIDME digital ID. Tap documents to see what information is stored in your EIDME app. Your phone is the only place this information is stored. Learn how EIDME is used for online and in-person identity transactions in our next video. Join EIDME members at eidme.com slash join to be notified when it releases. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us at support at blueing.ca. Thanks for watching.